All right, I read this book recently. It's uh, Why Johnny Can't Read and What You Can Do About It by Rudolf Flesch. It was published in 1955, and it's sort of a classic. What it's about, and you might not even know about this, is th this book is about the movement within the educational establishment. That's, you know, the government, reading specialists, teachers, colleges. It's the movement within, those, within that sphere away from phonics-based reading instruction uh, towards what they call the look-and-say method or the look-say method, uh, sight words, uh, you might know them by. So, so instead of teaching children to sound out words by learning the sounds of the consonants, uh, they're showing a picture of a cat and the letter C-A-T, and they're just saying, cat, memorize it. And they think that kids will learn to read this way. Okay. Obviously, uh, there are some problems with trying to teach, or at least not teaching uh, children the sounds of the letters. Um, but this, what went on you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago was really astounding. And if you're interested in education at a deep level, like I am, if you have young children, I think it's definitely worthwhile uh, going back and looking at the tragic history of throwing phonics out the door, or throw it out the window anyway. And, you know, they've still sort of thrown phonics out the window. You have all sorts of workbooks that teach phonics with pictures and so on and so forth. And they're just not as effective as just teaching children, you know, what the letters are, what the letter combinations are, and how to sound them out. So to me, this book is important in that it really highlights how ignorant the and how deaf, dumb and blind uh, the so-called experts are towards what works. I mean, they threw out phonics instruction and there was nothing wrong with it. They had this idea that children struggling to read was traumatic and too hard and that they were going to remove some of the pain and the emotion out of learning to read. Well, what they removed was the ability to learn how to read. And that's pretty uh, traumatic, too, when you have a child in school and they can't read because you're teaching them uh, with this kid glove approach that just doesn't work. So, again, check this book out if you are a diehard educationalist like myself. And there are other books written on it as well. John Taylor Gatto covers this stuff in depth. Um, but this is definitely worth uh, your time, why Johnny can't read and what you can do about it. It has nothing to do with iPhones and screens. That's why Johnny can't read today. But back in the 50s, they couldn't read because they changed the way they taught reading in schools. But note that if parents sit down and teach kids to read, as they should, and as they should before school even starts, these kids shouldn't have any problem learning how to read. So it's really not the school's fault. It's the parents' fault for outsourcing it. And that's why outsourcing just never, never works. All right.